what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so ah, i was browsing youtube man and i saw this pokemon channel uh, i think the guy was like in live stream right doing live stream and the title of the video was like you know pokemon investing is uh better than smb 500 and i was like uh, I look at the, some of the videos. He got like tons of sealed products, you know, UPC, all this. I was like, oh my God, it's going to be, it's like another Rudy Army, you know, like sealed closet investing and things like that. And I was like, oh my God. Oh man. Um, But so in this video, I just want to like generalize about this whole collectibles, you know, magic, you know, uh, flesh and blood, Pokemon. I think when you talk about like that, you know, like better than S and P five hundred. I mean, it could be in some years, it could be better, right? Uh, but people, you know, collectors, investors, uh, they really lean towards on you know magic cards, Pokemon, you know, graded cards, uh, because plain simple, you know investing in savings you know s&p 401k things like that it's kind of boring you know it's it's like it's boring like you just set it aside and that's it you know um but you know with pokemon collectibles magic you know flesh and blood you know um it's tangible like you can see it you can play it you can just you know display it things like this um but saying that it's better i mean we could talk about numbers like all day all night but i mean one of the richest if not the richest person in the world i mean warren buffett i mean you won't see him like having a uh, a warehouse <laughs> of sealed boxes no matter what it is you know because he thinks that you know in the long term 10 5 10 50 100 years uh this sealed box of freaking modern horizon or ultimate masters is gonna beat s p 500 right <laughs> um yeah uh that's why he's worth like billions so like i said i don't want to say um it's you know it's not worth it but uh like i said it's in some years probably you know if you time the market but you know it's a really impossible to time the market um but you know in in collectibles if you really want to uh invest is uh you're gonna run into into some uh some issues man because if you want to hold these boxes um it's a big issue is space you know where are you gonna put this man you're gonna like set aside like a whole room just to like keep all of these boxes you know and also like the when you try to like get out of these you know investment boxes you're gonna pay the fees you know the shipping the supply things like that you know the there's there's a lot to consider when when like in collectibles but if you just try to save it and put it in the market and wait you know 10 20 30 50 years you're only risking like like the time you know that's it you know and obviously your you know your risk tolerance on whether you're you know you see that the market is like uh like going down things like that but overall you know it's um it's really just the risk on 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 all of these investment uh, but i think it's better to think on on like if you really want to do this collectible thing i think uh instead of thinking of it as an investment i would say just like you know collect it you know just just i i i'd buy this product because i really want to just collect these items this you know art this cards this you know game pieces you know all this like it looks good you know and as far as investment i don't know i don't know i don't even know if it's like better than s p 500 but like I said, I think um, you can have both, you know, just diversify. But I don't I can't say that it's better because 
like I said, Warren Buffett doesn't have a warehouse of sealed boxes of all these collectibles. You know, he could be. I don't know. We don't know. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, it's just weird. A lot of these um, content creators, um, I guess it's maybe just a clickbait. But he, he really just went on on just like the numbers that it's like Pokemon boxes. You know, it's like better returns in like 10 years or something like that. Um, he could be right on all those numbers. You know, he, we could be talking numbers all day, all night. But in the end, man, like it's it's proven, you know, all this, you know, big boom, war, you know, Rudy Army closet investing. It just happened like, what, 10 years ago, I guess. You know, it got, it got mainstream. So that's why a lot of people are actually considering and doing it. And also it's, like I said, it's more exciting, you know, than the traditional savings and uh, S&P 500. So, yeah. That is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment what you guys think on this topic. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video. And with that, anger out, boys. Peace.